But this uh, exhibit here at UCD is in many ways a culmination, well, I hope not the final <laughs> culmination of a, of a long uh, interest in Yates. And I, I'm just uh, coming back from Sligo where I was reminded that I attended the fourth annual Yates Summer School in 1963, and this is the uh, 55th uh, annual summer school this year. And during that same summer of 1963, I attended the uh, uh, Ireland Past and Present Summer School at UCD, and it was a marvelous experience. And uh, those two experiences uh, really uh, propelled me into a great interest in the poet Yeats. And I, and I should say that uh, there was a wonderful uh, man, I didn't really know him very well, uh, named Leo Toomey, he's an Irish-American priest in Buffalo, who founded a little scholarship, uh, and they sent a student uh, three students actually from my hometown of Buffalo uh, to Ireland for the, for the summer, and that summer 1963. So I, I was here at UCD for two weeks, and then I had a few weeks to do whatever, and then I had two weeks in Sligo. And both were really uh, formative experiences. Uh, great people, uh, great UCD people like Liam DePoor was here, and we'd go out, you know, on a coach trip to Master Boyce or something, and we went out to Glendalock, and Kevin Nolan led the walk around Glendalock, I think. so. They were great kind of UCD figures uh, that summer. Um, and then the Yates School really was a kind of a, it propelled me toward an interest in Yates. And uh, I then, I veered off, I went to law school and was practicing law, and my firm fortunately had a great sabbatical program. And uh, I got the idea somehow uh, that I would go out to Sligo and talk to the director of the school, the great Gus Martin, uh, and ask him for advice on how to spend my uh, sabbatical. <laughs> and I thought graduate students were a very low form of life uh, who were, you know, interested pretty much in impressing each other with their brilliance. And uh, I, I didn't particularly aspire to being a graduate student, but I talked to Gus, who was so unlike anyone's uh, concept of a graduate student, uh, that, uh, and he said to me, well, why don't you come and uh, uh, take my seminar uh, in Anglo-Irish, and I wound up doing MA, and ultimately, thanks to Gus, a PhD in Anglo-Irish. Um, and the experience with Gus was uh, really life-changing uh, in many respects. He taught me, by his own example, the joy of uh, reading and studying Yeats, and for Gus, uh, reciting it. Um, and there were uh, the giants walked the earth in those days. Seamus Dean taught a seminar on Ulysses that I took uh, uh, Declan Kyber taught one on the Beckett, uh, Morris Harmon uh, taught uh, Andrew Carpenter. Um, they were really great, uh, you know, giants uh, teaching, and that really uh, gave me, a, you know, great impetus forward. But I did wander back to practicing law, but I compensated, uh, I think, by uh, starting to collect some. Uh, Yeats relics or material. Uh, I happened to see an ad one time in the New York Times book review uh, for a little, it was a photograph of Yeats and it had underneath it a little card on which was written the words, only the wasteful virtues burn the sun, which is the line from uh, the prefatory lines in Responsibilities with, in which Yeats says one of his old fathers, one of the great Pollocksman uh, men taught him taught my youthful lips to say only the wasteful virtues are in the sun. So I decided, yeah, I thought I'd like to own that. Now, why I thought that, I don't know, but it was in a way kind of the same uh, spirit that was the impetus to creating this exhibit, was to recover these bits of the visitable past. And uh, it, it just in some way, for me, and it may not be true for everybody, but I think if everybody exposes themselves to it, they may feel the attraction that a bit of paper containing a line in the poet's own hand from his work that you have a hundred years after he wrote it, uh, kind of brings you back in, in touch with it. Certainly in the exhibit here, uh, the draft of a poem in Yeats's hand in which you see him uh, changing the poem, you really see the poem uh, beginning to be created. Uh, it's a very satisfying, I think, kind of a thing. It's a life-enhancing kind of a thing. So I began collecting you know, bits and pieces of uh, Yeats' memorabilia, and Yeats himself took a great interest in uh, the complete book. His books, he wanted his books themselves to be visually 
beautiful, as well as containing beautiful and powerful poetry. And he devoted a lot of attention to finding the right designers and artists to design the covers of the books. And many of them were beautifully printed by his sister uh, at the Kula Press. And many of those uh, are here in the exhibit. Uh, so I began to see those available for purchase and I began purchasing them. In a way, I had my own thinking, but in a way, my wife, who's much wiser than I am about most things, suggested to me that maybe I wouldn't live forever. <laughs> and, and just in the off chance that I didn't know what would become of those things. And uh, I found uh, that the right thing to do uh, would be to have them in the library where other people could use and study them uh, and get the same enjoyment I had gotten. And, uh, because of the great debt I felt to UCD because of my experience here, both way back in 1963 and then as Gus's student uh, later. Um, and because uh, you have such a great library here and the staff here is so uh, knowledgeable and helpful to this kind of a thing. Uh, John Howard and Evelyn Flanagan and Eugene Roche have all done, uh, you know, and the Tony Roche and the Margaret Kelleher on the faculty have been so interested and supportive in it that uh, um, it was just an ideal place, uh, and given the fact that Yates is from Dublin and is a uh, great national figure, and the great, as Seamus Heaney called him, the great proponent and exemplar of uh, nationalism as a category of literature, which he certainly did do. So Ireland certainly is a place where uh, these items should be, I think, and UCD for me is, is home in many respects. So I was uh, delighted to, with the uh, thought of putting them here and even more delighted at how wonderfully the university has uh, received them and uh, shown them and showcased them and appreciated them. And uh, I feel that the uh, university will uh, make them available to future students and uh, so I'll have accomplished something that's very satisfying to me.